Hello everybody, today I'm looking so studious and professional because today I'm talking about how to master work outfits because if you're like most people in this world, you gotta go to work. And a lot of times, the work attire, the outfits every day get real boring, real repetitive, and real uninspiring. Do you guys know what I'm saying? So today I'm going to talk about different ways that you can change up your everyday work outfits. But today I'm going to kind of walk a fine line right in the middle and focus on smart business casual-ish outfits. Ultimately, it's outfits that you guys can all relate to when going to work. And if you love this series, please make sure that you give me some ideas in the comments below. And also, of course, if you love this video, I would love a subscribe. So make sure to tap that button down there too. First outfit I think we're all familiar with. It is the blouse and pencil skirt combo. Now, I know many of you guys usually probably tuck in the blouse. I mean, that's kind of how the outfit works. But I have a suggestion to untuck the blouse and add a belt. I would suggest going for a belt with some sort of nice, clean hardware. I got this at Target, which I love this belt. It has this great classic gold buckle. And then this is where the exciting part comes. It has these gold grommets. So it has this really subtle fashion forward element. And it was like 20 something dollars. You're just gonna untuck your shirt and then wear the belt at the smallest part of your waist. Some people like to wear it low on their hips, but I feel for an office environment and to keep things really poised and polished, your natural waist is ideal. And then as far as, you know, the tail of the belt, you can, you know, put it through the loop just like normal, or I think, you know, make it a little undone, a little messy. I think that's cool too, because the outfit overall is still really conservative and clean and polished. And that's the outfit, the classic go-to tucked in shirt pencil skirt. And then we kind of toned it down and added a little fashion editor element with the untucking and the belt. There you go, a fresh new outfit idea. This next outfit is so conservative, I almost don't feel like myself. <laughs> This is a classic outfit, poplin button up and fitted trousers. You know it, it's like the desk job or office uniform. So for me, this is like such an easy, simple trick. You would normally maybe wear a black pump or a beige pump. Well, kick those pumps off and go for a white shoe, whether it's a flat or a heel. I'm wearing a heel here, but you can see that simple swap of a shoe adds a brightness to an outfit and it almost breathes new style life into your look without changing much. And I'm telling you, this isn't too daring. You can wear this in a medical office setting, a conservative, accounting. It's simple, it's still conservative. I promise your boss is not gonna call you in saying, um, those white shoes are inappropriate. And you know, I also may not even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe this isn't appropriate for some office environments, but it's just a shoe, people. So the one outfit with the neutral shoe, still nice, but then, ha. Huh, the white shoe just brings it up a little bit while still looking professional. All right, here we have another cubicle classic. <laughs> Is that a bad joke? Jokes aside, some of you guys have to wear the uniform of a shirt, blazer, skirt, or pants. I get it. Sometimes it's like, oh, I can't wear another suit. It gets so boring. Well, a little switch up you can do while not getting too crazy and still staying conservative and professional is swap out with a t-shirt. Now, you guys, some of you are like, oh my gosh, I can never. Yep, I would say push the limits a little bit and try it. You need to keep these two elements in mind. Make sure it is a nice fitting, classic crew neck shirt. There's something very buttoned up and structured about a nicely fitted classic crew neck t-shirt. And you know, you can go a basic color if you want to just add like a pop of color, but I love a good stripe like I'm wearing here. This is my weekend shirt or my fashion stripe shirt. And you can see by pairing this, you still have these extremely tailored and conservative pieces with the jacket and the pants, which really anchor this outfit. And then the t-shirt underneath just gives it a little bit of an offset casualness without looking like you don't care and still dressing that line of conservatism at your office. So for those of you who may have not liked the previous tips, maybe this one will win you over. It is a simple one. It is as simple as when in doubt and when uninspired and when you're needing a little life in your office outfits, all you gotta do is add stripes. Stripe pants, they are a crowd Pleaser. I also think that they are the original, the pioneer of prints, the classic, the main, the first, 
the everything. There is just something eternally contemporary when it comes to stripes. Now, I think when you really want to show a sense of style, go for striped pants. Now, I'm wearing these. They're blue, high-waisted, tie at the waist. They have this mustard orangey stripe, which I think really adds a nice contrast with the navy. Now, all stripes shouldn't be created equal. You need to go out and try on a bunch of striped pants and choose the ones that look best on your figure and for your personal style. But I'm telling you, all you need is the pants and then you can just wear the simplest thing. It doesn't matter. They add just such a strong moment to any outfit and still always very, very conservative, polished and buttoned up and totally appropriate for an office environment. Now I kind of went a little bold here pairing the green with the pants because when I put it together, I just instantly loved it. But the easiest way when trying to pair a top with striped pants is pick a color in the stripe. So for me, if I didn't have this green, I would have picked this orangey yellow color and went and bought a top that is near close match to that color because then it just would have brought the whole outfit together. So it's something to think about when you're pairing something with it. So I hope this video gave you little style inspirations that will have you waking up and feeling a little bit more excited about getting dressed for work or maybe it inspired you to do another shopping spree for work outfits or little things that you can add to things that you already have in your closet. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You can also see my life in photos on Instagram. So if you're not following me over there, make sure to my handles right there and just follow me or look me up and you'll find me. And uh, of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you have a topic you want me to talk about as far as how to master a certain trend, how to you know master wearing a certain shoes or a certain style sensibility or I don't know anything, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now it's time to get to work. I am at work. So I'm staying right here. See you guys next week. Bad joke, full of bad jokes today. Just happened.